Hello guys welcome back to our anime moments. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land 2 Peerless Tang Men based on novel. So let's start. Alright. The match begins. Xian Ziwen only realized that both parties had forgotten to name themselves after he'd announced the start of the match, he'd made a mistake. However, he soon witnessed the end of this round. Hui Yu Hao's opponent immediately moved as soon as the round began. A heavy soul shield appeared in his hands, followed by thick armor on his body. However, Wei Yu Hao didn't burst forward like he had in the previous three rounds this time. Instead, his golden spirit eyes gained a purple hue, an array of golden purple flames were unleashed from them a moment later. Even Xian Ziwen felt his surroundings light up a little. A moment later, the previously conceited student groaned and then collapsed to the ground, along with his soul shield and armor. Hui Yu Hao wriggled his wrist, after which the short spear that had appeared earlier appeared in his palm. He twisted his head towards Xian Ziwen and asked, Teacher Xian, are you confident in my accuracy? I should be able to hit my target accurately within 150 meters. It's over? Xian Ziwen couldn't conceal the shock in his eyes. He hadn't expected Hui Yu Hao's spiritual type soul skills to be effective over such a long distance. Furthermore, his opponent had been a five ring soul king. Yet, he hadn't been able to resist at all. Hui Yu Hao didn't even need to throw his spear, this student wasn't likely to get up anytime soon, you've won. Xian Ziwen said with a little difficulty. The surrounding commotion instantly turned to silence. Hui Yu Hao raised his right hand, and then extended four fingers. He'd not only completed, but had won four rounds in less than an hour. Aside from his battle with Nana, he'd overwhelmed all of his opponents up to this point. Jing Hongchen was a little restless as he sat in the main spectator stand. He discovered that, to his horror, Hui Yu Hao's spiritual type martial soul was actually extremely powerful. A class 5 soul engineer had been knocked out in a single blow, even though he was 150 meters away. Who could challenge him? In the soul tool department, there wasn't any student who specialized in dealing with spiritual type soul skills. After all, spiritual type soul masters were quite rare. Based on this soul skill, it was evident that Hui Yu Hao had been holding back in the previous rounds of the competition. The rest definitely wouldn't have been able to bear this spiritual type attack of his. Hui Yu Hao chose to rest after completing the fourth round. He sat down cross-legged and began to meditate. He'd wanted to go for one more round in order to deplete more of his energy. This had been to allow his spiritual and soul power to recover together as he meditated. The first few students to challenge Hui Yu Hao had been the best of the class 5 soul engineers. Thus, the later rounds of the competition were even easier for Hui Yu Hao. After resting for a short while, Wei Yu Hao continued with the competition. He completely dominated, and won 17 rounds in the morning. He only stopped to rest when noon approached. No further cheers were heard from the spectators. After stopping for a quick lunch, he didn't leave the Soul Tool experimentation area. He found a resting place and quickly restored his energy and power beneath the protection of the other Shrek students. Hui Yu Hao was still a human, not a god. He'd fought for 17 rounds straight against the elite class 5 soul engineers of the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy at this point. His opponents had watched his previous rounds and tried to adapt to his changes. However, Wei Yu Hao's fighting strategy had also changed. He'd thought of as many ways as possible to achieve victory without exposing too much of his abilities since he couldn't use soul tools. He was already fatigued after a long morning of battling. However, this fatigue was refreshing in a sense. The feeling of venting left Hui Yu Hao very refreshed. He also felt that his soul power had increased during his deep meditation. Lin Jiayi had mentioned that he would only be facing class 5 soul engineers today. Tomorrow, he would face the class 6 soul engineers. As for the third day, the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy would give Hui Yu Hao the authority to choose who he wanted to challenge from the illustrious Virtue Hall as a form of reward for him. After all, challenging the higher-level soul engineers would be a valuable experience for Hui Yu Hao. He would also be able to use his soul tools on the third day. Fan Yu sat to one side and watched Hui Yu Hao. He revealed a slight smile and comforting look on his face. Although he couldn't say that the ultimate soldier plan had succeeded yet, he was clearly aware of Hui Yu Hao's performance in the battles today. This was the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy where the most talented soul engineers in the continent resided. And yet, even these soul engineers with higher cultivations than him weren't able to beat him. He was only 15 years old. 
Besides the fact that his soul power increased very slowly, Hui Yu Hao was almost perfect. Hui Yu Hao had two hours to rest in the afternoon. After these two hours passed and Hui Yu Hao reappeared in the Soul Tool Experimentation Arena, he was already full of energy again. However, he was still a bit fatigued from the morning full of sparring. The time he took rest between each opponent increased with each. Finally, he defeated 13 more competitors and ended the day with a total of 30 victories. When it was close to dark, the students from the Sun Moon Academy walked out of the Soul Tool Experimentation Arena with serious looks on their faces. The looks in their eyes was a little heavy. Fifteen years old, this was merely a fifteen-year-old soul master from Shrek Academy. He'd somehow defeated thirty Class 5 soul engineers, including more than seventy percent of the Grade 6 students, without any soul tools. This also meant that practically no one could defeat him, apart from those in the illustrious Virtue Hall. This was a humiliation. Tomorrow, the Class 6 soul engineers from the illustrious Virtue Hall were going to compete. But, could they really win? Yi Xiaosheng's lips twisted a little, and he laughed bitterly, talking to the both of you dampens my spirit. I shall not talk to the both of you anymore. Teacher Fan Yu, I'm leaving first. You're already so ferocious today, but it's still not your, gosh. Yi Xiaosheng was depressed as he walked out with his hands on his forehead. Hui Yu Hao and He Kai Tu couldn't help but think of how he had asked them to call him Brother Sheng as he left. They grinned as that thought crossed their minds. Fan Yu stood up and said, Yu Hao, take a break. I don't have many instructions for you. Give it your best tomorrow, but safety comes first. You should know how important you are to Shrek, yes, teacher. I won't be careless again. Hui Yu Hao sat up straight on his bed and wanted to send them off. However, he was stopped by Fan Yu and He Kai Tu. After that, the two of them left on their own. Hui Yu Hao dragged himself up and forced himself into a cross leg position. He couldn't just sleep. Otherwise, his efforts for the day would be wasted. It was only through restoring his energy in his cultivation state could he assimilate the gains he had made during the sparring today. The doorbell suddenly rang. As he was too tired, Wei Yu Hao didn't unleash his spiritual detection. He assumed that it was either Fan Yu or Hikai Tu, and so took in a deep breath and walked to the door. However, it was neither of them. Rather, it was a young lady with a well proportioned figure. She was Nana, the soul king from the active control soul tool department who he had defeated today, why are you here? Hui Yu Hao furrowed his brows, but he wasn't too wary of her. Part of NANA's spirit was still under his control. If he wanted to, he could restrict her movements and even harm her. Nana furrowed her brows as she said, can I come in? Although she wasn't that ravishing, her bravery gave her a sense of charm. This charm greatly accentuated her well-proportioned figure. Hui Yu Hao opened the door wide and gestured for her to enter. Nana entered the room, but Hui Yu Hao didn't close the door. It was too late, and it wasn't too appropriate for the two of them to be together in the same room, thus it was better for the door to be left ajar, what's up? Hui Yu Hao was too tired, and went to take a seat on a chair at the side. Nana retorted, I should be the one asking you that. What did you do to my body? How did you manage to control it? She was filled with hatred as she demanded an answer. After she lost to Hui Yu Hao, the matter had been bothering her, she only came to talk to him after the entire competition was over. She didn't approach him as there were others with him, but only came to his room after Fan Yu and He Kai Tu had left. Hui Yu Hao answered indifferently, I don't know what you're talking about. If there's nothing else, please excuse yourself. I still need to spar tomorrow. Nana was enraged. You don't have the guts to admit it? Hui Yu Hao couldn't stand looking any further. At his age, one was supposed to be extremely curious but unclear about the matters of the heart. He had once sensed feminine beauty from Ma Xiaodao, but he was very young then. That was why he wasn't as tempted. But he had developed biologically over the past two years. He panicked a little and turned around. After that, he said, put your clothes on. What are you doing? Nana was teary-eyed as she said, I know that you're an elite student from Shrek. I don't have anything valuable to exchange for my spirit. I can only use my body. I've never been touched by a guy. If you promise to return my spirit, I'll give my body to you, I, were you how hadn't expected something like this. He didn't know whether to laugh or cry. He was a little anxious as he said, put your clothes on and get out immediately. When the sparring is done, I'll return your spirit. Nana was stunned for a moment and only reacted after a while. Hui Yu Hao seemed to be scared of her current self, 
and looked rather pathetic. He wasn't as arrogant as he was earlier under everyone's gazes. Due to his outstanding performance during the sparring competition, many students now treated him as a target. In their eyes, Wei Yu Hao was a powerful soul master. But Nana now realized that he was still a 15 year old youth. It seemed like she was reading too much into things. She blushed a little before hurriedly dressing herself. Hoi Yu Hao was indeed awkward. He felt his nose getting hot as if it were about to bleed. Furthermore, he didn't dare to use his spiritual detection to tell whether she was done. After all, he would still be able to see her body, I'm done. Nana replied softly. Hoi Yu Hao heaved a sigh of relief at this point. He turned back to confirm that Nana was indeed dressed before turning his whole body around. His face heated up, and his nose was as hot as before. He tried to resist his nose bleed. Even though Ho Yu Hao tried his best to cover his nose, Nana still managed to see it. Nana broke out into laughter, quickly leave. Ho Yu Hao snapped. He was trying to expel the erotic scene from his mind. Nana was evidently not as furious as before. You'll really return my spirit? Why not now? Why must it be after the end of the competition? Hu Yu Hao said, that's because I want to guarantee that you won't find trouble with me in the next two days. Quickly leave. Even he felt that his reply was a little incoherent. Nana took a deep look at Hu Yu Hao and said, I hope that you can fulfill your promise. Anyway, I've nothing that I can use to exchange for it. If you back out and want my body again, just tell me. Hu Yu Hao felt his nose heating up even more and there seemed to be blood flowing out of it. Nana opened the door before turning back to look at him. She smiled, you don't seem that annoying now. Better than that arrogant self in the morning. Morning. Hoi Yu Hao awoke from his meditation. He was filled with energy. He opened his windows, and clear air flowed into his room, refreshing him. After a night of rest, his energy had been restored, and he was in his best condition. His soul power circulated, and streaks of white gas rose from his body before he inhaled them again. Hu Yu Hao was delighted to discover that his overnight cultivation was equivalent to ten days of normal cultivation. It seemed like sufficient pressure was beneficial to his cultivation. I should be under greater pressure today. Let it come then. The golden light in Hu Yu Hao's spirit eyes shone at this moment as the first ray of sunlight shone down. A dim purple appeared in the sky, and Hu Yu Hao used his purple demon eyes to absorb this color. The Soul Tool Experimentation Arena was just as packed as yesterday, but it was much quieter and more peaceful today. Many of the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy students sacrificed sleep to watch the competition, and hadn't had a good night's rest. Hu Yu Hao had shocked them too much with the difference between a Soul Master and Soul Engineer's fighting styles. It was also their first time witnessing the abilities of a powerful Soul Master. They now understood why Shrek Academy was so dominant on the continent. The increased use of soul tools represented progress, but soul masters had been around for many generations. It would take a long time before soul tools could suppress soul masters in a battle. At the very least, soul engineers couldn't do it now. The class 6 soul engineers from illustrious Virtue Hall were going to compete today. Could Hui Yu Hao maintain his winning streak? Wages were still being accepted, but there was only one choice. The odds were still 5 to 1. However, the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy students didn't think they had a chance to win. Jing Hongchen also arrived at the main spectator stand early. He had been greatly affected by the competition yesterday. Hu Yu Hao was only 15 years old, but was shockingly rich with actual combat experience. Although he didn't think Hu Yu Hao was that strong, there wasn't anyone the same age that could match up to him. Were his grandchildren even that capable at his age, perhaps the only problem with Hu Yu Hao was that his soul power increased very slowly. This was something that Jing Hongcheng was slightly comforted by. Otherwise, he would need to come up with ways of dealing with the young man before he became a serious danger to the empire. After a period of setup and resolution, the matter regarding the attack on the base of illustrious Virtue Hall was finally suppressed. But it had also forced Jing Hongcheng to join the crown prince's side. With his support, the crown prince had now gained an absolute advantage. The two remaining competing princes lost ground immediately. The Sun Moon Empire Emperor's condition was worsening, and no one knew how much longer he would live. Jing Hongchen's only wish was to restore Test Subject 1. After all, it was incomplete. No one besides him knew the password to activate it. Without the password, it was only a stack of rare metals. 
While dismantling the stack of metal and selling it would definitely be valuable, it was still better than exposing illustrious Virtue Hall's greatest secrets. The first thing that popped up in Hui Yu Hao's mind was Nana's body. He forced a smile and replied, it was rather good. Xian Ziwen said, that's great. Today, your opponents are going to be stronger. After discussing things with the Hall Master yesterday, we've agreed to let you use soul tools today. After all, you only have four soul rings. If you're restricted too much, it'll be unfair. This isn't the Academy's style. Do your best to stretch your stuff today and unleash your full abilities. Hoi Yu Hao was stunned for a moment. I'm allowed to use soul tools? The Hall Master must be interested in how I combine soul tools with my martial souls. Xian Ziwen replied, I don't know that about that. If you're absolutely confident in yourself, you don't have to use them. Hoi Yu Hao laughed, why not? It's nothing anyway. Since we're sparring, I have to live up to the meaning of it. I just hope that my competitors don't disappoint me today. Xian Ziwen looked at him with a meaningful gaze and said, You won't be disappointed. Go and prepare yourself. Hoi Yu Hao nodded and shut his eyes. He focused and circulated his mysterious heaven technique. He quickly adjusted his body to its best condition. In truth, he didn't think that he could beat 26 class 6 soul engineers from illustrious Virtue Hall. It was unrealistic to think that he could defeat all of them in one day unless his light of destiny could be used continuously. That might give him a glimmer of hope. But Shen Ziwen's words gave him hope again. If he could use soul tools, it was a different matter. In terms of soul tools, Shen Ziwen recognized his abilities in soul tool use and production, even though his soul power wasn't up to par yet. This also meant that he wasn't that inferior to the soul engineers from illustrious Virtue Hall. Perhaps this was the first test he had to take after choosing the close combat path. Hoi Yu Hao started to become excited as his competitive will was peaked. Fighting was the best way to test his abilities. He became extremely focused now. After getting approval from Jing Hongchen, Xian Ziwen returned back to the stage. Lin Jiayi was still the MC for the sparring today. His voice boomed out through the sound amplifying soul tool. Teachers and students, today is the second day of the sparring against Shrek Academy. It will still be Hui Yu Hao competing on behalf of Shrek. After yesterday's competition, I'm sure all of you have witnessed the difference in fighting style between a soul master and a soul engineer. I hope that all of you can use this chance to discover your own problems and enhance your real life experience with soul masters. At the same time, I hope that all of you can work hard and be like Hui Yu Hao, achieving glory for your academy. Today, we'll be sending out class 6 soul engineers from the illustrious Virtue Hall. We have 20 of them with us today. We'll carry out as many rounds as we can until dinner time. The competition's about to start. Please observe carefully and reference what you see with your own abilities. If you can learn something from this, this sparring competition will be a success. Due to the gap in cultivation, where you how will be allowed to use his own soul tools today. All of you must also carefully watch how he combines his martial souls with soul tools. This is especially pertinent for students from the Active Control Soul Tool Department. All right, the competition's going to start. Shin Muzu's hands were held at his side as he burst forward. He held a long dagger in each hand. These two daggers were the same, they were four inches long, their hilts were thick and their blades were wide. A dirt yellow radiance was released. As his soul power was unleashed, there was an overwhelming sense of power. Earth type, close combat soul tool. Hu Yu Hao didn't unleash any soul tools. He acted the same way he had yesterday. There was helmet on Shin Muzu's head with a colorless ruby mounted on it. This ruby shone weakly under the sun. There were bound to be heavy sparks in this clash between two close combat soul engineers. Both parties were getting closer and closer to each other. Shin Muzu shouted, and his third soul ring started to shine. A layer of purplish light engulfed his body, and his aura became even more overwhelming. He stopped suddenly before leaping forward. He slashed his daggers towards Hu Yu Hao. The yellow daggers didn't seem to release any force. The air around Shen Muzu's center also started to distort. Hu Yu Hao squinted his eyes. His toes touched the ground, and he sprang up from the ground in a swifter manner compared to Shen Muzu. The dark golden terror claws appeared once again. Just as both parties were getting closer and closer to each other, a wing flapped open from Hui Yu Hao's back. After that, he dodged to one side, avoiding Shin Muzu's daggers. This happened instantly, and his dark golden terror claws had already clawed towards Shin Muzu's shoulder. 
he used this half of his flying type soul tool to displace his position. The wing of the flying type soul tool even flashed before disappearing. He must possess immaculate control. Even a class 6 protective soul barrier couldn't resist the destructive force of the dark golden terror claws. But Shin Muzu wasn't an easy target to deal with. He didn't panic. His sixth soul ring suddenly lit up, and a boulder armor surfaced in front of his body. The appearance of the boulder armor greatly increased his weight. He immediately landed back on the ground as he was dragged down by the increased weight. He even bore the attack of the terror claws. Several rocks were peeled off from the armor as a screech was heard. But Shin Muzu wasn't hurt. Hui Yu Hao was surprised that Shin Muzu's daggers continued to slash down in the same trajectory. They stabbed into the ground. After ten seconds, Shin Muzu's boulder armor was crushed, and his face turned pale. He staggered and almost collapsed to the ground. A layer of golden light flashed continuously on his body. It was evident that some protective soul tool had been activated. In truth, it was impossible for Hui Yuhao's Ice Empress Wrath to overcome Shin Muzu's boulder armor and class 6 protective soul barrier. While Shin Muzu's armor was able to Hui Yuhao's attack, it also restricted his own strength at a critical moment. After the armor was frozen, he couldn't break free even if he wanted to. Hui Yuhao then used the Dark Golden Terror Claws to force Shen Ziwen into intervening. Shin Muzu could only concede defeat. Shin Muzu's brows furrowed as he looked at Hui Yuhao. He was also shivering because of the extreme chill he had felt earlier, you've won. But I'm not convinced. Hui Yuhao nodded his head and said, I know that, I can sense it. Your daggers are indeed powerful, and aren't easy to deal with. If I'm not wrong, the spikes were supposed to come at me relentlessly after they forced me to divulge my flaws. That's why I didn't give you the opportunity to unleash your full fighting strength. Let's hope I have another opportunity to spar with you again. Hui Yu Hao was also much more courteous against a worthy opponent. He was indeed impressed by Shin Muzu's abilities. Shin Muzu nodded at Hui Yu Hao before turning around. He told himself that he needed to place a protective soul barrier outside the boulder armor the next time he sparred with Hui Yu Hao. In that way, his defense would be even greater. Yet another victory? Another commotion ensued. This fight had been very short, and the spectator's stand was very far away. It was difficult to make out small events. While Hui Yu Hao seemed to win the fight quickly, it wasn't easy for him. He won because of his ultimate ice. The Ice Empress Wrath froze his opponent's Earth-type 10,000-year soul skill. In addition, he had also tricked Xian Ziwen. Even if he had really used the complete Dark Golden Terror Claws, he might not even have been able to crush the boulder armor. After 15 minutes, Wei Yu Hao leapt up and nodded towards Xian Ziwen. The second soul engineer from the illustrious Virtue Hall was an ordinary-looking woman with an average figure. She looked to be almost 30 years old, illustrious Virtue Hall, Jing Ziyan. This woman was the most concise among those who had competed against Hui Yu Hao, Shrek, Hui Yu Hao. Hui Yu Hao was also concise, the competition begins. Hui Yu Hao burst forward as usual, but this time, he let everyone witness his top speed. As he burst forward, the semicircular soul tools appeared behind his back. They revealed four nozzles as they flipped out. The four nozzles started to spurt fire backwards. For streaks of flames shot out, and Hui Yu Hao's body burst forward like a shooting star. Those with keen eyes realized that Hui Yu Hao was now covered by a layer of diamond ice crystals as the four streaks of bright flames shot out. He had no choice, as without the Ice Empress armor's protection his body couldn't tolerate the incredible thrusting force or the wind resistance. However, Hui Yu Hao managed to reach a frightening speed with the explosive thrusting force. He covered 150 meters almost instantly, arriving right in front of Jing Ziyan with a terrifying aura. Jing Ziyan was very calm when she appeared. But when Hui Yu Hao's speed soared and he burst straight towards her, she was slightly surprised. Hui Yu Hao gave off a feeling like he was a powerful soul beast now. The sovereign's descent seemed almost unstoppable as Hui Yu Hao's speed increased dramatically. What greeted Jing Ziyan was Hui Yu Hao's fist. It was covered by diamond ice crystals and combined both the Ice Empress Pincer and the mysterious Jade Hands. He didn't use the Dark Golden Terror Claws because he couldn't combine both the Sovereign's Descent and Dark Golden Terror Claws perfectly at such a high speed. But he still managed to control the speed, strength, intent, energy, angle, and timing of this fist precisely. This was Hui Yu Hao's true ability, as he unleashed an ultimate strike. He returned to the waiting area without uttering a word. He sat where he was originally and started to meditate. 
Only Xian Ziwen noticed that he was breathing heavily, and his right arm was trembling slightly. It seemed as if he could collapse. That strike Hui Yu Hao must have had suffered a huge price to unleash such a powerful strike. It wasn't a speed that a class 5 or class 6 soul engineer could reach. With Hui Yu Hao's standard in soul tool production, he couldn't possibly create a class 7 soul thruster. But he had used for class 6 soul thrusters, allowing him to reach a speed equivalent to that of a class 7 soul thruster. The impact on his body was very heavy at such a high speed. Moreover, he hadn't held back at all when he struck the invincible barrier. It was no surprise to him that he felt as if he was going to collapse. It was also no wonder Jing Ziyan lost to him. Xian Ziwen was very familiar with Jing Ziyan. That's because Jing Ziyan was his junior and was once touted as a genius. The reason why she was only a class 6 soul engineer now was because she got too greedy. She had researched all types of soul tools without choosing a path for herself. That was why she stagnated as a class 6 soul engineer. But she still managed to enter illustrious Virtue Hall, a testament to her talent. She was recognized as the queen of class 6 soul engineers in illustrious Virtue Hall. Illustrious Virtue Hall sent out Shen Muzu and Jing Ziyan first in a bid to regain the face they had lost yesterday. However, both of them had now lost to Hui Yu Hao. They even lost very quickly. Xian Ziwen was shocked to realize that Hui Yu Hao had quickly entered a stable meditative state and stopped trembling after a while. Everything seemed to become calm again. The huge burden and pressure that he was under earlier seemed to have disappeared. His aura and soul power undulations returned to normal once again. Yes, this was how quickly Hui Yu Hao could heal. The immense life power of the life gold ensured that his body was very tough. Otherwise, he would have died when he saved Ju Zi and Kuku. The ultimate soldier plan had proceeded smoothly because of his ability to fight continuously for long periods of time. After another 15 minutes, Wei Yu Hao leaped up energetically and nodded his head at Xian Ziwen. He was signaling that he was ready to continue. Xian Ziwen couldn't help but wish that there was a metal that was as resistant as Hui Yu Hao after he saw how energetic and competitive Hui Yu Hao was. The third class 6 soul engineer appeared. He was a male soul engineer and appeared to be around 25 or 26 years old. His long, black hair was tied behind his head. He also seemed a little pale, but was extremely charming. However, his eyes lacked energy, and even his movements felt very slow and lethargic. Among all the guys that Hui Yu Hao had ever met, only Wang Dong could match him in terms of looks. However, Wang Dong's beauty carried a sense of tenderness, while this guy's beauty was built on his aloofness. Hui Yu Hao couldn't sense any emotions from this guy. He held a short sword in his hand that was around four inches in length. The sword was entirely black, and had a simple pattern. Nothing seemed very special about it. It even slightly resembled a rod used to control a stove fire. However, Wei Yu Hao's got goosebumps when he first saw him. Jing Ziyan already posed a danger to him, but this guy appeared to be even more dangerous than her. Wei Yu Hao's spiritual detection was still activated, but it seemed to lose its effect on this guy. He couldn't even sense this guy's soul power, Ji Juichen. Jing Ziyan's introduction was already extremely concise. But his introduction was even more so, Hui Yu Hao. Hui Yu Hao nodded his head as he looked at him. But Hui Yu Hao was surprised when Ji Juichen suddenly said, I signed up at the last minute because of your fist. I found something that I've been looking for in your fist. Please allow me to sense it. Thanks. Can you wait an hour for me? Hui Yu Hao asked. Ji Juichen's eyes were already focused on his sword, but he shouted, please. Hui Yu Hao sat cross-legged and straightened his body. He entered his meditative state once again. Neither of them were speaking softly. Those with sensitive hearing could listen in on their conversation. Although Xian Ziwen was the referee, he didn't speak as he stood to one side. He also thought that Ji Juichen was a madman. Even the academy and the illustrious Virtue Hall students thought the same way. Ji Juichen was an anomaly in the illustrious Virtue Hall. Firstly, he wasn't a soul engineer. But neither was he purely a soul master. However, he was the chief disciple in the active control soul tool department. His martial soul was a sword. But it was just an ordinary sword that didn't possess any powerful capabilities. His innate soul power was only rank 3, and he could barely cultivate. However, he fell in love with his sword after his martial soul awakened when he was 6. There was nothing except his sword in his eyes. He unleashed his martial soul to cultivate tirelessly every day. No one knew how he managed to increase his soul power. 
When he was eight, his soul power reached rank ten. He entered an area filled with soul beasts alone with his sword and only escaped three days later covered in blood. He obtained a hundred-year soul ring from a soul beast that he had personally killed. He obtained a soul skill that helped to enhance his soul power like a soul engineer. The average soul power of the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy's students was above that of Shrek. That was because most of them consumed all types of medicine to increase their soul power. This was extremely effective before they reached seven ring cultivations. But at least 95% of them couldn't reach seven rings because they consumed all these medicines. Reaching class 5 or class 6 was already very sufficient for these soul engineers. However, G. Juechen was different from everyone here. He didn't consume any medicine. He only remained here to challenge others, since there were many strong soul engineers in the academy. His sword was a piece of extraterrestrial meteoric steel. After obtaining it, he used his own methods to grind and shape this extraterrestrial meteoric steel. After more than ten years, it finally developed the shape of a sword. Using external materials as one's weapon seemed to be the job of a soul engineer, but he did it anyway. In the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, he was definitely the odd one out. Jing Hongchen had given him special permission to enter the illustrious Virtue Hall. As the chief disciple of the Active Control Soul Tool Department, he had the right to choose his opponents. However, he was only allowed one challenge every month, because Jing Hongchen didn't want the illustrious Virtue Hall and the Academy's daily operations to be disrupted. The students and even the teachers gave him a nickname because of his trait, Sword Fanatic. Sword Fanatic Ji Juichen. No one was willing to interact with him in the academy. That was because he was very silent apart from the challenges he issued. He only cared about his sword. He would even talk to his sword at times. He only responded to those who challenged him. Jing Hongchen's eyes flashed with a cold light as he thought till here. Shrek Academy's position on the continent was very prominent. Shrek Academy had played an important role during the war thousands of years ago. If not for their help at the critical moment, everything would be different now. While the crown prince was disabled, he was much more powerful than the other princes. Since he decided to aid the crown prince, he needed to do all he could to remove any obstacles, Jerry, control the crowd. After sensing some commotion from the spectators, Jing Hongchen furrowed his brows. Lin Jiayi quickly picked up the sound amplifying soul tool and said, Silence. Please give the competitors a quiet environment, this spa is likely to be very exciting. Teachers, please maintain order. Part 1 end here.